Hey everybody, it's Chris Load here in the screencast. I'm going to show you how students can use the lightning pencil feature on the Scholantis portfolio to very quickly and easily add content to an existing portfolio post. I am logging in as a demo student that we have in our district and your students of course would be adding a different username and of course their own password. I'm going to click tap sign in and this will launch the student uh, my site. You'll see here up in the top they have a, uh, a quick way to access their portfolio because their portfolio is the same regardless of which class they are in. They only have one portfolio. So I click on my portfolio button and for this student it is brought directly to the student portfolio page. You can see there's a number of different posts here and the student can add their own content or their own uh, learning artifact by clicking on one of these buttons. The last button here is the lightning pencil that allows you to quickly add content to exist existing posts. So I've added this as a batch post about number patterns and if I click on that we get the overlay that goes over top of posts where that can be changed. You'll notice there's a couple that do not have that overlay. It's because those posts are locked. The three options for adding content to an existing post, we can add a photo, a video, or an audio clip. I'm going to add an audio clip to this and the uh, new window pops open. Once I click on that, it will start recording my voice. The number patterns, oh, if I'm on a computer, it will ask me permission to use the microphone. And the same with the iPad, please select allow. I'm gonna select that checkbox there and then allow. So the, the recording has now started and it is recording my voice. I'm gonna talk about number patterns and how I know that the next number would be four because it is an increasing pattern that goes up by one every time. I click stop. Here I could press play to listen to my audio clip here. If, uh, assuming I'm happy with it, I'm going to click add recording. And that recording will get added to this particular post. And remember, students can very quickly add a photo or their, or their own video as well. So when adding a photo or video, you can also take the photo or video right then and there with uh, assuming you're using an iPad. Uh, makes it very easy to add content while the kids, if the kids are on an iPad. I'm going to click on the lightning pencil to get rid of that overlay. And then if I click on this particular post, you'll see there's actually two audio clips. I added one earlier, so this was the audio clip that I just added. And there you have it. The audio clip gets added to the to the post. Hopefully this will allow your students to fairly quickly and easily add content to existing posts. Take care and have a good day.